our Torah mean words of Torah, or for many mean it's time for the sermon. And so tonight we have a treat that our graduating seniors from Healthman Religious School will share their words of Torah. They will become our teachers, many of whom will stand here at this bima um, from having their confirmation years ago and before that their bar and bat mitzvahs and to, to lead us in words of inspiration and, um, and words about what their experience have meant to you. I've asked each of them to introduce themselves before they begin speaking. Hello, my name is Braden Bergen. Dear congregants, I, Braden Bergen, have enjoyed my time at the synagogue. The memories, friends, and experiences that have guided me through this journey have been so formative and will always hold a special place in my heart. From my first year in this synagogue to my senior year, I have made so many memories and enjoyed my time here at Emmanuel. From coming in on Sundays as a kid and watching and wanting to be a TA for so long, to becoming one and then trying to be a mentor to many of the younger kids. Then on to Wednesday night school when I would come with my sister Brianna until now and have had so, many, so much fun with the teachers and friends throughout these years. Although COVID took a, away a year from me and forced me to move online, I still have enjoyed my time throughout this process. Thank you to all my teachers and the clergy that have helped me through this long and hard process and have had put up with all my shenanigans. I would lastly like to make a huge thanks to my parents for keeping me cool throughout all these years and giving me support to keep going. Love you all so much. Thank you. Hi, my name is Maya Crater. Where I live, there aren't many Jewish families in the area. I was known at school as the Jewish girl. I would be introduced to new kids at school with, this is Maya, she's Jewish. I found it strange that Judaism was so alien to my friends. It never really bothered me because I got to come to religious school every week and see other people like me. I can't say that I always enjoyed getting up early on Sunday morning to drive into town, but it was worth it because here I was never the Jewish girl. I was just Maya, or Gertie to some people. I love being surrounded by people who all share the part of me that others may not understand. I'm truly blessed to have gotten to grow up in this congregation and feel the assurance that it has given me as a Jew. I've gotten to watch the kids I would see on Sunday grow into smart, talented individuals. I haven't met a group of people who can make me laugh as hard as my class can. Even during a global pandemic, we still found a way to make Zoom religious school bearable. This, con this congregation has watched me grow up as well. You may have been at my bat mitzvah I got to share with my best friend or have seen me sing on Sundays with Cantor Simmons. There are rabbis and teachers here who I have had the privilege to learn from. Some of you are family and some are classmates. All of you are part of the community that makes me feel safe. Thank you to my family for supporting me through anything. Thank you to Rabbi Silk and Michelle and the amazing teachers and staff of Emmanuel. Thank you to my classmates. I hope we stay friends and keep in touch. Thank you to my best friend, Leah for always finding a way to make me smile. I will take the lessons that I've learned from Congregation Emmanuel into college, and for the first time in four years, I can make plans on Wednesdays. <laughs> Hello. My name is Wyatt Cypro. Healthman Religious School has taught me many valuable lessons throughout my years of attendance. For the past few years, I've enjoyed my time at Healthman, but that was not always the case. As many of my fellow classmates will happily tell you, and many of my former teachers will unhappily tell you, I was quite the troublemaker. I was a truly awful student for most of my time in Sunday school. 
I dreaded Sunday school and felt that the best way to deal with this dread was by causing as much chaos as possible. It was a lot of chaos. There was one year where I probably spent equal amounts of time in Ms. Marna's office as I did in the classroom. Needless to say, my parents were very angry at me. But that was not stopping preteen Wyatt from engaging in his shenanigans every Sunday morning. Change didn't happen overnight, and I can't pinpoint a specific moment in time when my views on religious school changed. But at some point, it stopped being a chore and became something I looked forward to. Two things played a major role in my transformation. First and foremost, I began to feel a, excuse me, I began to feel more attached to my Judaism after my bar mitzvah. And while I still felt no desire to attend every Shabbat service, I began to feel connected to my Jewish identity, and I gained a strong sense of pride in saying I was Jewish. Second factor is the people. I would not choose to go to Wednesday school if it wasn't for the amazing classmates I have. Somehow, we always find a way to take even the most monotonous lesson and turn it into a fun time. The 10th grade retreat was hands down the best educational trip I have ever been on, and I could not have asked for a better group of people. I still wish we had another clergy judged chopped competition, but I don't think the judge's stomachs have recovered from the last one. Thanks to my time at Hoffman Religious School, I can proudly say I look forward to continuing my Jewish life after high school. At the bare minimum, I will hopefully meet some more amazing Jewish people, but they certainly won't hold a Sabbath candle to my current Jewish friends. Hello, everybody. My name is Lindsay Frankfurt. I've been a part of the Emmanuel community since I attended Becker Preschool. I then began Sunday school and later Wednesday night school, and I've been here from elementary to middle to high school to now my senior year. I'm not even here for the free trip to Israel because I literally can't even go on it. And I haven't remained a member of this sacred and special community for all of these years only because of my parents or because I felt obligated. I truly love everything that Emmanuel and Healthman have done for me. Well, okay, everything except the time that me and my bat mitzvah partner, Zoe Hirschfeld, learned that we were assigned the wrong Torah portion halfway through the bat mitzvah process and had to relearn everything in only about three months. This was under different leadership, though, everyone. Don't worry. Um, but as you can see, we're both in the current graduating class because Healthman is just that special. Anyway. I have loved being on the board of trustees for the past two years. I adore being the music teacher on Sunday, for Sunday school, and I enjoyed being a teaching assistant um, from my eighth grade to 11th grade years. My fellow teachers, students, and congregants always welcome me with a smile and a genuine, how are you? I know that I always have somewhere and someone to go to when I am in need of guidance, a pick-me-up, or just a friendly conversation. I've become so close with the clergy and all of my healthman friends. We all still talk about how epic the 10th grade confirmation retreat was to this day, and I am still basking in the glory of winning Mensch of the Month in kindergarten. I am genuinely so excited to come to Hebrew school each week to learn more about myself, my faith, see my friends, and crack jokes with the rabbis and my mom. Thank you, Rabbi Silk and mom, for making this final year the best one yet. I've had a blast, and I can't wait to come visit. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amara Friedson, and Healthman Religious School has been my second home for about eight years. I do have to admit, growing up, religious school is not something I look forward to on Wednesday afternoons. But as years passed, I grew closer and closer to my classmates, and they made religious school a little bit more fun. Even when class felt slow, they always knew how to make me laugh, and they made class bearable. But the last few years, class has been more than bearable. It's actually been something I started to look forward to. Wednesday nights started to become my fun nights during the week because of the amazing programming and field trips that made learning a lot more exciting. I really wish I could have appreciated the earlier years more because I'm gonna miss you all so much. There's no one else I'd rather learn with and y'all were so fun to have alongside me as I discovered my own Jewish identity. Of course, I'll also miss Emmanuel and the whole congregation too, but 
I'm going off to college, so I can't stop that yet. But <laughs> um, although Beth Shalom in College Station is lovely, it pales in comparison to Emmanuel. The kindness and generosity of the community here is really amazing, and I'm so grateful to have been a part of it. Our temple supported me my whole life, and I'm very lucky for that. I've started here very young, eight years old. I was kind of a late bloomer in our group, but that didn't stop me from being welcomed as soon as I came. Um, everyone always supported me, and I had endless resources always to prepare for my bat mitzvah, to do anything I needed to do. And it especially helped me when my house flooded during Harvey. People came immediately and brought groceries and dinner and donated gift cards and helped us rebuild our life. And that was really special to my family and to me. So thank you for all your support. Um, thank you also to the rabbis and teachers for teaching me why I should be proud to be Jewish. And thank you to my friends for making me smile throughout class all these years. I can't wait to explore Israel with you guys. Shabbat Shalom. Hi, my name is uh, Jason Gerber, and uh, my time in Emmanuel was characterized by two things, the connections I made and the impacts I had on others. Uh, I was in the TA program for four years, and I had the chance to help students embrace their Judaism. In particular, I remember a student coming up to me after school, uh, after I taught them on the year online, and he appreciated my humor and connecting with him through football. I also think it's crazy that the second grade students that I taught my first year as a TA are now entering their sixth grade year and they're gonna have their bar and bat mitzvahs next year. Uh, being a Sunday school student and then being a TA showed me the role model that I wanted to be. Next, I think I'm not alone when I say this Healthman class was very unique and that every single one of us got along and were genuinely good friends. I can remember our 10th grade trip to Galveston which strengthened our bond and showed how serious 10th graders can play UNO or do beach yoga. Uh, I've grown up with these wonderful people since first grade, uh, and I definitely wouldn't be here on Wednesday if it weren't for them. I wanted to thank the TAs and teachers I've had in the past for helping me explore my Jewish identity and making uh, my Judaism a core part of my identity. And also shout out to my second and fifth grade teachers for giving me mention of the month twice and uh, it did wonders for my ego. Uh, I had an incredible time learning with some of my best friends and being a role model and, uh, for the future of our community. Thank you. Hi, I'm Zoe Hirschfeld. Um, in eighth grade, Wednesdays were my least favorite day of the week because they were spent to my distaste at Wednesday night school. This sounds very harsh, but it was true. I always felt like I was wasting time when I would come to Wednesday night school. But to my surprise, at the beginning of our 10th grade year, our confirmation year, my feelings about Healthman Religious School changed. Inexplicably, my time here began to be something I looked forward to. And when COVID hit, and I felt like I lost so many of my connections outside of school, my friends at Healthman remained a constant in my life. My time here has been incredibly valuable, both because of these friendships and because of what I've learned about Judaism and how to live life more intentionally. I feel that intentionality has been such a big part of what we've learned here. Being intentional with gratitude in eighth grade, morality in ninth grade, our Judaism and how we practice in 10th grade, civic engagement in 11th grade, and now as seniors, we've learned to be intentional in all the things we do when we go off to college. Thank you to all the teachers our classes had for teaching us these lessons and putting up with all of our shenanigans over the years. Our minds are so much richer because of you. Good evening. My name is Leah Lynch. Time, the indefinite continued progress of existence and events in the past, present, and future. Ironically, firstly, the past. 
I have been attending Congregation Emmanuel since before I was born. Ever since I can remember, I spent Shabbat here with my family. I remember preschool with my peers, many of whom are graduating with me here today. I met my best friend here. I became an adult here. I got my first job here, and I was even confirmed here. Well, technically not here, as it was on Zoom. So I guess I was confirmed at my kitchen table. Most importantly, I learned about myself here. I learned about the history of the Jewish people, my history, and celebrated and mourned, not just for my people, but for me. I learned about the practices and prayers that connected me to my history. As one of the few kids coming from a converted family, I struggled feeling connected to my people. My time here helped me connect to my past. It just seems crazy how our time has flown by. In pre-COVID times, we had two years until this night, but when the pandemic hit, the world stopped. Everything we ever knew came to a screeching halt and the world stood still. Now, we're going into our futures. Two years of our lives were stolen from us, and not just any two years, some of the most formative years of our lives. And through trials and tribulations and the help of the clergy and staff here, we figured things out. Some of us are heading to the military, some out of city or even state, and others at home for a little while longer. Growing up is always hard, but things get a lot easier when you have a community such as this supporting you the whole way. I was privileged enough to learn and grow in a positive welcoming environment with positive welcoming people. I got to study amongst my friends and watch as we grow up together, making unforgettable friendships along the way. I want to thank the clergy, teachers, staff, and anyone who helped support this community for allowing me to be a part of this congregation. I also want to thank my parents for ensuring that I get the religious education and community they always wanted for me. I want to thank Maya for being my best friend since third grade, and I want to thank the rest of my class for making religious school so much fun. The present is a gift, and my time here has changed my life, past, present, and future. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Ronnie Ostrin. So, Emmanuel, or as my dad likes to call this lovely house of worship, Emmanuel, has been home of various shenanigans since I moved here in fourth grade. As many of you know, I joined the party kind of late. My first day here was the mock wedding, to be exact, which left a strong impression for sure. My mom made me put on a dress, not because it was the wedding, but because it's synagogue, and we dress nicely for synagogue. I've thought a few times about how embarrassing it would have been if I had shown up in my pretty red dress and everyone else was wearing sweats and Crocs for regular classes. But thankfully, I had shown up just in time to be Lindsay's mother-in-law. <laughs> when I first came here, I felt very disconnected from my peers. I was unfamiliar with the prayers and the people and the place. They say it takes a village to raise a child, and this was simply not my village, yet at least. I was a fourth grade kid, and Omanu Smell had little trouble adopting another grimy fourth grader. This place soon became a very special home of comfort and belonging. I'm forever grateful to be a part of this community in a class full of similarly grimy fourth graders who made me laugh so often I get shushed in nearly every service we attend together. Um, <laughs> I'm so glad I somehow find a, found a place here, and I'd like to give a giant thanks to you all. To the staff here, thank you for all you put up with. I know we're a ruckus most days, and I, for one, wouldn't have it any other way, but I'd guess y'all might. Um, to my parents, thank you for letting me stick around and for okaying the Omanu smell stick. Um, I love y'all. And to my class, I'd like to give a special thanks, especially since sophomore year. I've had nothing but fond memories and terrible blurry pictures clogging up my iPhone storage. Congratulations on making it this far and I hope our paths cross again soon. <laughs> Hi, my name is Joshua Weber. I've greatly enjoyed my time at Emmanuel as a student at Becker Preschool and at Healthman Religious School as a TA. My friendships I have made through the many years here I will carry as uh, with me as I leave for college. Um, I have learned many things during my years at Healthman Religious School. The most important is what it means to be a Jewish man and the meaning of all the important uh, Jewish holidays. I will always remember the memories I've made and the experiences I've had 
at Hebrew School. Helfman has been such an important part of my life, and I look forward to continuing to practice Judaism and stay in touch with my Helfman friends as I go on to college and beyond. I am thankful to my parents for encouraging me to be I'm sorry, I am thankful to my parents for encouraging me to be a part of this special community. I want to thank the clergy and staff for helping me through my journey of being a student, for hiring me as a TA. I learned how to be, uh, where I learned how to be a responsible adult and help me uh, teach kids in an amazing environment. And most important, in helping me become a bar mitzvah and all the long and exhausting months it took me to learn my Torah portion. Finally, thank you to my friends uh, for being here every Wednesday and always making class rowdy and fun with me. Shabbat Shalom.